Okay, it's time for our getting along together lesson. Um, let's watch a little video. It's about Angry Annie. Let's see. Well, first let's watch letter V for voice since we didn't finish that part. <laughs> Let's do Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell and there he kept her very well. Okay, now let's watch this video about Angry Annie. Does she get she gets a comb stuck in her hair? Her brother doesn't share. She has to wear socks that she doesn't like, and toys fall off of her shelf. What does Annie do when she feels angry? Did you see her yelling and she's stomping her feet and her cheeks get red? She puts her hands on her hips and she makes fists with her hands. Sometimes when you feel angry and you're losing control, you might even feel like you're a different person. Have you ever felt angry like Annie? There are some things you can do um, to work through those feelings. So it's important to talk about a feeling of being angry, scared, or sad because feelings can make you do things that you wouldn't normally do. Um, they can make you feel like you're losing control. So in our classroom, we will have a, a calm down or a thinking spot where you can go and relax by yourself for a minute. And maybe at home, you have a place where when you're feeling upset, you can just go to have some quiet time. You can always give an I message like I'm feeling angry because you took the last donut this morning out of the refrigerator and I didn't get to have any. And then I'm not sure how we would work that out, but maybe next time, you know, the other person could share one. You can stop and think before you lose control and do something you don't wanna do. And you can use those stay cool steps to calm down. Remember, stay cool, you know, you um, say how you're feeling, give yourself that chilly hug and breathe in and breathe out. Okay, so we're gonna stop here and we'll do part two in just a second. 